Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a how to wear it video and I've done one of these before and it was my how to wear high waisted shorts and that was a really fun video for me to make. I made that in the summer, I believe sometime in the summer. Um, and today I'm going to be doing one for blazers for you guys because I know blazers are a really nice um, outfit piece to wear but some people don't really know how to wear them especially in a non-professional sort of way. So I'm going to show you guys how to wear blazers and I'm going to start with this outfit here. Um, if you want to know like my nails, what's on my nails, um, I always have that down below in the description box so check that out. Um, so I'm going to get started in my outfits. The first thing I am wearing is my blazer. And this blazer is one of my favorites um, because of the shape. And if you guys can see, um, it has like a natural kind of pear shape to it um, that is really nice to like accentuate curves. I'm just wearing it with some dark wash jeans and you can pretty much wear it with anything. Sorry about this really crazy view um, of my room, but I could not find anywhere else to film this and I needed to film it today because I knew I was going to be busy tomorrow and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. So then I have on this black tank top underneath and it is from Nordstrom. And the cool thing about it is that it has this bow on it and I really like this because it has like these sequins on it that kind of add like a necklace like kind of look to it without actually having to wear a necklace. It also adds texture and that's really nice. So just has this bow and mine's a little wrinkly right now but you know you get the point. I would wear this outfit to school. I would wear it to um, any sort of event. I honestly think this is one of the outfits that I would wear um, on a like a regular basis. I'm not really sure what happened with my sleeves here but you you get the point. No you don't. Sorry, my sleeves were uneven. That really bothers me. I didn't even notice it. But yeah, so this is just um, a really simple outfit that you could wear to school. Um, for shoes, I'm not wearing shoes right now. I'm actually wearing fuzzy socks. Yeah, um, it's getting cold, okay? So don't even judge me. Um, I would probably wear boots or ballet flats. Because it's such a neutral outfit, you could really wear like any kind of shoes with this. You could wear bright red if you wanted or um, a nice subdued kind of like nude color. So you could really wear whatever you want with this and I really like it. I'm going to show you another outfit with this blazer. Okay, so as you guys can see, now I pretty much just put on a different color top. So what you can do to make this a little bit, I think, a little bit more put together is take the sleeves, this is a quarter sleeve top, take the sleeves of the top underneath, pull them out so that they can show, I never finished my sentences, I don't know, it's weird. Um, so then now it looks a little bit, I think, a little more put together. I just like the way this looks. Now what I like to do is take a black scarf. Now, okay, I am a huge fan of circle scarves. I currently only have one though, so if you've seen me wear this a lot on my channel, that is why. But this is one of my favorite things. If you don't know what a circle scarf is or an infinity scarf, it's pretty much just one continuous loop as you can see. And you pretty much just um, loop it like so, put it over your head, maybe a little more gracefully than I did. And I like the way this looks because, um, I don't know, like, okay, honestly, like, this is such a cute outfit. Am I, like, the only one seeing this? Because you've got, like, your neutrals and another neutral here, um, but then you have this bright kind of coral color, but it's also, again, peeking through the sides. Um, if you have a long sleeve, you can slouch it up until it's just poking out, or you can pull it all the way through if it's colder outside. Um, this is just a really cute outfit. So this scarf is from Nordstrom. It's one of my all-time favorite um, clothing accessories that I've ever bought in my life. Like, I love it. Um, and it's just this black wool. It's pretty much just, like, the most amazing thing ever. So this was fairly expensive, but 100% worth it. This top, you guys have seen me wear before because um, I did an uh, outfit with it. But this one is from... Um, I think Abercrombie and Fitch when I was into Abercrombie and Fitch this is like the one thing I kept of my Abercrombie and Fitch stuff because I just love it so much. Again, for shoes you can pretty much wear anything; like it doesn't really matter. Um, but I really like this outfit. I want to wear this to school. Pew, pew. Okay, that was fun. I changed my blazer, and this one is a black cotton blazer. It's a bit more of a classic fit. It's more boyfriend, shapeless. And it's got these two nice big pockets here. Actually, I haven't worn this blazer in a really long time, but now that I put it on, I'm like, ooh, I really like this. Maybe I should wear it more often. This is the great thing about doing these videos because now I'm like, ooh, I have outfit ideas and stuff. So 
Anyways, I love this blazer. The only problem is that if you have only cotton shirts, it can kind of look like you're wearing just one continuous fabric. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but like back way when, I'm sure they still make this sort of thing, they came with like t-shirts you could get that were like, had like a something connected to it. Like I remember one of my friends had like a shirt and I was like, oh nice shirt. And she's like, oh thanks, it's connected to the cardigan. And like legit, it was stitched onto the cardigan. Like she bought it like that and I was like, what? So, I, don't, I never owned anything like that, but that is really cool, but really, really bad at the same time. It's kind of just a weird concept. Like, don't you think it's kind of weird? Anyways, make sure if you're going to wear a cotton blazer that you, you mix it up with your fabric underneath. So, this fabric I'm wearing. This top that I have on underneath is white, but it's a different fabric. This actually has some, like, this actually has, like, some embroidery in it. I don't know if you guys can see, like, little flowers, and it's slightly see-through, but, you know what's covered is covered, you know what I mean? Um, so I like it, and it's a little bit more of a springy top since we're going into the winter months. I decided to put on my Christmas necklace, which is my little reindeer. He's really cute. It's a mixture of textures, and that's really important when making an outfit. Um, I've noticed that I like to texturize my outfits. You could also add a scarf to this um, to make it a little warmer or whatever, but I love this outfit. The blazer is from Nordstrom, the top is from Free People, and the necklace is from Forever 21, and I'm just wearing the same jeans because I'm too lazy to change. Okay, so this is my other outfit with this blazer. I had to use another outfit with this blazer because while I was putting on another outfit, I thought of this outfit, and I was like, Emily, you were just on it today. So I had to put it on for you guys because I had to show you how you could really cap. Do you like this big arm movement I just did? Okay, I gotta stop gonna pull something. You could really casual down a blazer because I know some people are like, really? That's a kind of a formal thing to wear to school. Whatever. But I wanted to show you guys you could really make it more casual. So this outfit is my casual blazer outfit. And I think it's important that we have casual days so that we don't go crazy. Um, personally, I live in sweatpants, um, but not at school. I always wear jeans to school. I've never worn sweatpants to school, except for when I like broke my finger and I couldn't do it my own pants and long story. But anyways, this outfit is really cool, I think, because I have a legit sweater underneath this um, that is black. And it doesn't really matter because we have a neutral colored blazer. You could really use any color of um, sweater that you want, even a pattern, whatever. I just picked this one because it was just sitting there. So this one is obviously Adidas and it can say something. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I like the fact that um, I have it poking through again, like I said before. Um, it is long sleeved, so I kind of have it just bunched up my arms. Um, and it feels super comfortable, super warm, and really, really casual. I feel comfortable. Like, I don't feel like I'm trying super hard to look nice. Like, I feel like this is something that would be a little bit more manageable for a lot of people because I think that blazers come across as more of like a business casual sort of thing. But they're really not. They're something you can wear, like, on an everyday basis. Um, and if you're wearing them right, people wouldn't think you're, like, dressing up for an office. So, this is one of those outfits. Um... I don't know about you guys, but I really like this. I think it would really look cute with a hoodie as well. So like something that had a hood on the back. Those are my blazer outfits for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this. And um, let me know if you have any more um, kind of wardrobe questions. So like say you have a piece and you just don't know how to wear it. Or a certain kind of thing um, that you don't know how to wear. I'm planning on doing one for high-waisted skirts. Um, but... I'm not sure yet. So let me know if you want any more of these videos, how to wear it sort of videos. And check out my how to wear high-waisted shorts, which will be linked down below. And if you have any questions as well, just let me know in the comments box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!